Hello friends, today we are going to discuss the next topic of lattice that is complement lattice. That how we determine a complement value or complement uh, of an element in a given lattice. Okay, so uh, suppose L and less than equal to this poset be a lattice with universal bound I and O. I, O, A, O is a bound lattice as we already discussed. For any element small a which belongs to this lattice, this B is said to be complement of this element A means this B is a complement of A if these two conditions satisfy. The condition is A or B or means or means G L B means the greatest lower bound of A and B is equal to I and or means lower LUB. If the least upper bound of A and B is O then that uh, element that this B element is a complement of A or by commutative property by commutative property of meet and join meet and join meet and join means GLB and LUB of meet and join if A is a complement of sorry if uh, if B is a complement of A then according to the commutative property A is also a complement of B ok. And in lattice, the important is in lattice, an element can have more than one complement. Okay, so for finding the complement of a given element for any element if the greatest lower bound of A and B A or B sorry 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 uh, this is for or and this is for and ok. So, the least upper bound of A and B is equal to I and the greatest lower bound of A and B is equal to O. If these two conditions satisfy then B is said to be a complement of A. So, uh, we take some example. Suppose if A is equal to A and B are the two elements of A and we have to find out the complement of A for a power set for the power set of A. So, first we have to draw the Hesse diagram of the power set. If A equals to A comma B then the power set is equal to having element phi A B and A comma B. Now first we draw phi, phi is the least element the null set. So we represent like this. The next element is A, another element is B and the next element is A comma B. So, we represent like this. So, the greatest element is represented by I and the least element is represented by O. Now, this is the Hesse diagram or you can bound lattice. We have a boundary I and O. Now, we have to determine the complement of this element A. So, check if A, uh, if A or B is equal to I and A and B is equal to 0 or O or not. If this is so, then B is a complement of A. So, see here A or B or means the least upper bound of A and B. A and B for A and B the upper bound is I or least upper bound is also an I. So, this condition satisfy A and B and means greatest lower bound. The great the A uh, the lower bound for A and B is O or greatest lower bound of A and B is also O. So, again this condition satisfy therefore, B is a complement of B is a complement of A or you can say A is also a complement of B. 
Okay. Now we take another example. Suppose if we have a set A equal to 1, 2, 3, 5, 30 and A is less than B uh, is equal to B if and only if is A divides B then what is the complement of the element 2. So for finding the complement first we have to draw the Hesse diagram with the relationship that A divides B. So the first element is 1 this then the next element is 2 so 2 divides by B so mother 2 divides by 1 yes then 3 then 5 5 is divided by 1 only then 30 30 is divided by 2 3 as well as 5 so this is a Hesse diagram the greatest element is represented by I and the least represented uh, 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 the least element is represented by O now we have to determine the complement of 2 so we have to compare two element with all other component and check whether the least upper bound and uh, greatest up, uh, sorry least upper bound and greatest lower bound is equal to i and z or no, not first i am comparing 2 with 3 so check whether 2 and 3 and 2 or 3 see here 2 and 3 and means what and means greatest lower bound 2 and 3 the greatest lower bound of 2 and 3 is 1 or you can say 0 yes 2, two or 3 means or means low least upper bound 2 and 3 the least upper bound of 2 and 3 is I 30 that is I so these two conditions are satisfied so the first complement of 2 is 3 because in lattice we can have more than one complement of uh, one complement so the first complement of 2 is 3 now if I compare 2 with 5 so check whether 2 and 5 and 2 or 5 so see here 2 and 5 is 1 or you can say O and 2 or 5 is equal to 30 or I so again this condition satisfy condition satisfy so 5 is also a complement of 2 so similarly we have to compare all other element with 2 whether if the condition satisfied or not of GLB and LUB but I think that 3 and 5 is the only complement of 2 so this is how we find out the complement of a given element in a lattice I hope you understood this the con all the concept of lattice and if you still have any doubt then you can ask in our comment section and you can send your query to our business email id that is itechnicallearning at the rate gmail.com. So keep watching my video. Thank you so much.